Andy Mogul. Hello everyone and welcome to Eric Builds the Movies, the number one web series dedicated to DIY filmmaking and special effects. This week we are embarking on our most ambitious project to date. I'm talking about a motorized remote control camera dolly specifically designed for shooting 360 video. That's right, a camera robot. Here on Indie Mogul, we have a long history of creating DIY filmmaking tools like jibs, dollies, and snorri cams. But the thing about 360 video is the camera sees everything. So when using these traditional filmmaking tools, you will film your camera operator and your track as well. There is a commercial solution, but it costs over $18,000. I think we can do it for a bit cheaper. I present to you how to build a robot camera dolly in six easy steps. Step one, find a wheelchair, specifically an electric wheelchair or scooter. If you keep your eyes peeled, you can usually find one on Craigslist for about 120 bucks. But if you're really lucky, like I was, you can score one for free. Whoa. That was actually like three months ago. And when I found it, I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. Always pick up junk. Step two. Got the chair. I brought this beast back to my workshop and stripped out all the crap I didn't need, including the fabric, the handles, the controller, and pretty much everything in the middle. What's left were the two sides of the frame with the beefy motors and wheels attached. Step three, test, test, and retest. The most important part of this salvage was the motors. Everything else could be replaced fairly easily, but if the motors didn't work, we'd be screwed. Here goes nothing. Yes! With the motors working, it was time to test those old batteries. I had zero hope that these would work, but after an overnight trickle charge, miraculously, they both worked. The final component to test was our new Sabertooth motor controller. While these can be pretty expensive, they are incredible pieces of hardware. Installation was also very straightforward. With two heavy gauge wires for each motor, two more going out to the battery, and four small wires to connect and power the RC receiver. Speaking of our controller and receiver, I just recycled them from a previous build, but they're still pretty cheap on Amazon. Time to test. Whoa, ah, Yes. Step four, mod the frame. First, I used an angle grinder to cut off all the crap on the existing frame I didn't want. Next, using one inch square tubing, I MIG welded some cross beams, making our new frame stronger and more narrow. At this point, I was very anxious to see if this thing would even work, so I sloppily zip-tied everything to the frame, threw in our old batteries, and bolted on an upside-down IKEA table leg as a camera riser. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, whoa. Hooray! A working prototype! If you are short on time and money, or just not crazy like I am, you could totally stop here. But... That's not my style. Step five, make it super awesome. First off, I hated the bulky battery cages I recycled from the original chair. So I got rid of them and used my welding skills to fabricate some simple supports that allowed the batteries to sit much lower. Our cheap IKEA table leg actually worked perfectly as a telescoping camera riser. So I just added a steel pipe for extra weight and stability, welded on a 3 8 bolt to make the camera mount sturdier, then welded the whole thing to a scrap steel plate. While our old batteries technically work, I didn't trust them enough for a long shooting day. So I took a newer 12 volt battery I had from an old project and bought a second matching battery to give our cart some new life blood. Last but not least, I applied a stealthy flat black paint job. Step six, give it eyes. Our sixth and final step was a last minute addition that turned out to be completely crucial to this cart actually working. Yeah. For any 360 narrative video, the operator really has to hide or be in a completely different room. Our solution, this cheap video baby monitor also gutted from a previous build. After some fine tuning, we were easily able to lock in the cart's speed from super slow up to three miles per hour. And the wheelchair motors are virtually silent. Did we mention that it has enough torque to carry a person? <laughs> Yeah. We ended up naming our cart Aggie because even though she moves super smooth when you want her to, if you don't pay attention, she has a tendency to get a little aggro.
I think that's enough. This build turned out to be one of those rare projects that not only worked, but far exceeded my expectations. We ended up spending a total of $245 because we already had a lot of parts laying around. But if you were starting from scratch, it would cost about 650 bucks. Still way cheaper than 18 grand. To see Aggie in her full glory, check out this moving 360 tour of the workshop, which you can view using Google Chrome or on your phone with the YouTube app. But for now, I leave you with one very important question. What? should I build next? It could be a specialized camera rig like this, an iconic prop, or a gross special effect. Basically, if it has anything to do with movies or entertainment, it's fair game. So please let us know in the comments below. Okay, everyone, that wraps up this episode. We will see you soon, but in the meantime, keep making stuff. Extra thanks to our wall of fame patrons. If you wanna see the 360 video, click uh, on my face. Still there?